for one dollar from AliExpress you can get this module. And what is it? In the title it says 5 volts, 12 volts, 10 amperes voltage regulator PWM DC motor speed controller stepless speed regulator LED dimmer power controller. It looks very useful for for me and that's why I ordered it and of course I got it. Uh, bubble snow. One back, back in the back. Ooh, it comes with the knob. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Also. It have a switch. That's nice. Besides it's a potentiometer, it have a turn on off switch. Beautiful. Let's see what it says in specification. Voltage in from 5 volts to 16 volts. Current can handle 10 amperes. Short maximum current 20 amperes. Less than 10 seconds. Okay. Clockwise click at open continue to retake clockwise from 1% to 99% speed. Duty cycle from 0 to 99%. Mm -hmm. When the current is switched on, the 0.002 amperes long time no need to switch off the it's no current beautiful beautiful hello okay let's see the the chips one of them is 555 timer chip and the other one is nikos P 2003 BDG. Okay, and I search that is N channel field effect transistor with voltage of 25 volts and can handle maximum 35 amperes. That is alright. This thing is rated and at 10 amperes, but the MOSFET is 35 amperes. Cool. So this module is working from 5 volts to 16 volts, volts maximum. It can handle 10 amperes. We have a potentiometer with the switch. We have the connector here that it says two of them is for DC input and the rest two are for DC output. The model is HW070. Mini PWM controller. I'm gonna make all the connection uh, connections and test it. To wire this thing is simple. You have two wires for DC input and you have other two wires for DC output. Also it have a switch. Turning on. A little bit more. And you can control the light bulb. See? From 1% to 100% using the potentiometer. It's PWM. Power with modulation. Beautiful. It's hooked up on my power supply that is giving maximum 5 amperes. It's set on 12 volts, turning on. And let's say right now it's pulling 500 milliamperes and going to the maximum it's pulling 1.7 amperes. Okay. It's a cheap module that you can control LEDs and bulbs. But if you want something better, I rec recommend this module. This module is PWM frequency meter that you can change the frequency and the duty cycle. Let me explain. This module also will be in link below so you can check it. And right now the frequency is set on 1 kHz and on my beautiful multimeter 
This is Zoe ZT703S, which is multimeter and oscilloscope, and also you can check it in description below. I have a full video review about this guy, and it's best for now. Okay, uh, one kilohertz. We're reading one kilohertz, and the duty cycle is 54 percent, and you can see on the and take a look. I can change it. Let's say to 10 percent. And what is beautiful about this multimeter auto range? And take a look. Beautiful. Using this PWM module, that it's not expensive, it's cheap. You can control big MOSFETs like this. You can control the duty cycle and the frequency at the same time for bigger loads. This is nice, but it's for small loads. Using this power width modulation meter, you can control a MOSFET big as this one. Okay, I hope you like today video. So let's change it. Please give a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I love using this oscilloscope. And it's rechargeable and color display. See ya!